box. HP has now been loaded. We loaded stage three right away. And I've done my 80 kilometers or 50 miles driving sensibly. And uh, here are my first impressions of XHP. So the clearest difference immediately after loading is that the, the gear appears in drive. And it's a nice touch. I didn't realize how quickly it goes to fourth gear, if I'm honest. In Sport Plus, and only in Sport Plus, when, the, uh, when it's changing gears, it adds a little bit of, uh, of fuel, it accelerates a little bit. It's, uh, it does that also when then you're decelerating. So if you're not mentally prepared for it, it does seem like it's a problem, but it's, it's not a problem. I can understand it doing that when, it's, when you're accelerating. It's a little bit counterintuitive when you're decelerating, I would say, at least I've never driven that way. and the gearbox to manual slash sport. I don't think it does it when the gearbox is, uh, is set to drive. I think it won't do it from second gear and first gear. Uh, I mean, from second gear going back to first gear. But it does do it from third to second. Yeah, it doesn't do it from second to first, but it does do it in any other gear. So seventh to sixth, sixth to fifth, etc. Well, stage one tuning has definitely been better than the JB Plus. Um, definitely the car is smoother uh, across all the rev range. It's not the same as the JB Plus. The JB Plus would give you a jolt at some point, uh, whereas the car is now much smoother. It is resp more responsive, more eager to accelerate across all of the rev range. It's just, it's not a different car. I mean, it's not that humongous a difference but it's definitely different it's definitely more pleasing to drive now xhp is quite similar because the car feels more eager to change gears to accelerate to just to just be more of a performance car than it was before but i do not consider xhp or the stage one tune to be modifications to the car because quite frankly the car was capable of these of this kind of performance and it's bmw that took that away from us right it wasn't as if the engine has been modified in some dramatic way in fact the b58 engine is capable of 382 horsepower in the z4 and in some of the other models that have the same engine so it's actually tuned down to give us less horsepower in not only the m140i but in in some of the other cars as well the engine was always capable of 382 horsepower from the factory and BMW rates it down to 335. So as far as I'm concerned, the stage one tune is basically restoring the engine to, to what it's capable of. I do not consider that a modification at all. Similar to the gearbox, I'm sure the same gearbox in hardware terms is found in, in several cars, but the gearbox is programmed, you know, according to how sporty the car be, is, is uh, you know is being marketed. BMW is, is is assuming that people will buy it because it has decent performance, um, but it doesn't have exceptional performance because it's being held back by BMW itself. So by doing the ZF programming, by doing the stage one tuning, you basically give it the performance that the hardware is capable of. Imagine buying a laptop with, you know, an i7 processor and, you know, 32 gigabytes of RAM and Windows, because that laptop is being sold to you as a, you know, as a non-professional laptop, as a non, you know, business laptop, because it's being sold to you as, a, as an internet browsing laptop, for example, Windows has taken it upon themselves to take away some of your performance. You wouldn't accept that. Nobody would accept that. So if you have the hardware, you expect the maximum performance that hardware is capable of. And same way with your phone, same way with your laptop, same way with your car. So we have the same engine as a Z4, we have the same gearbox as a Z4, we should be capable of the same performance. Obviously, uh, BMW is not just selling the one series, they're selling a whole range of cars, and they do need to create that perceived difference 
uh, that you know establish a big difference between each of the series and each of the models uh, because they need to justify the prices as well so uh, I totally understand what BMW is doing and although BMW is doing that for their own purposes what we're doing is not really modifying the car it, it is restoring the car so I do recommend stage one tuning to everybody um, more than the JB plus and I do also recommend the ZF8 you know the XHP reprogramming XHP is not the only way to reprogram your gearbox but it's probably the most well-known and probably the most well-tested <coughs> way to program your gearbox really that's why I chose it because it's more it, it's it's proven